Okay, so it looks like it's done generating the NAN workflow. Look at how comprehensive this is. Now let's go ahead and copy and paste this in NAN. Look at that. This is amazing. In today's video, we're going to use Claude Opus 4 with its deep research and extended thinking capabilities to generate our NAN workflows for us. We're going to see A, if it works, and B, what it takes to get it work effectively. Let's dive right in. We're going to be using Claude projects to generate our NAN workflows. Claude projects are a paid feature where you can train Claude on a very, very specific task, give it instructions and give it training material, and then prompt against that training material to generate results and reports for you based on the training material that you've given. Now here I've explained Claude and I've taught Claude on how to generate NAN workflows. For example, if you see on the right, it says that I have used 5% of the entire project capacity based on the training material I have given it so far. Now I've created a previous video that walks you through exactly step-by-step -step how to set up your cloud projects to generate NAN workflows. Link is in the description below. Now let's prompt Claude. Here you might have noticed that I have selected Claude Opus 4. If you have other models, please make sure to select Claude Opus 4 in here. I have enabled the deep research option right here. So please make sure that that's selected. And in the search and tools settings section, I have enabled the extended thinking and web search options. Basically, what I want to do is I want to give Claude Opus 4 as many options to figure out and give us the best solution as possible. I'm going to ask it to also research the internet, look for best practices. So I have enabled the web search option in here. So now let's review what the prompt says. By the way, I'm going to give this entire prompt. Please check the link in the description below. The prompt basically says, build me an N8 and flow that receives a post message from a webhook. So this assumes that we have a webhook that is receiving a lead generation form. And we're going to take that information and act on behalf of this. I'm basically asking it to review the message in the and take actions, which is to either schedule a Google calendar meeting with the prospect and or to send an email to the prospect and additionally send a Slack message with a summary of what that message was and what the actions were taken. So that's what I've asked Claude to do. Let's see how Opus 4 reacts. This is going to take some time given how comprehensive the request is, and it usually takes a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video right here and we'll come back and review what Opus 4 has done for us so far. And we're back. This took roughly about eight to nine minutes. And let's see what Claude Opus 4 has produced. As you can see, it initially produced a complete implementation guide. It produced this plan first. It looked at the web researches and it did a whole bunch of web search and create a research plan, a highly detailed plan once you, once you see the type of implementation plans that it was going to do. And then it looked at 327 sources. This is where the power of Claude Opus 4 research and extended thinking comes into play. It's highly detailed. It's not just going to take whatever training data simply that you've given within your Claude project, but it goes out and it does a lot of extended web thinking. And if you look at some of these options in here, community.nan.io, this is what I really love. Claude went into the N8N community and it actually searched and it looked at 37 sources based on the information that we gave. N8N docs that it searched. So it's very cool. And then it even looked at GitHub and 53 other resources and look at all the comprehensive research that Claude Opus 4 has done. Very impressive. And then it produced an implementation guide, a highly detailed implementation guide that walks through and explains how to produce an N8 and workflow based on the prompt that we gave. This is very impressive and it's fairly detailed. And so this is what it did. It actually stopped at that. And then it says, okay, here is your implementation guide. That's ready. What I had to do next was I had to prompt it again and then say, hey, this is excellent. Now, can you please go ahead and produce the N8N workflow 
JSON based on the research that you just did, even though if you look at my prompt, I do very clearly say that the end result needs to be nothing other than a highly detailed N8N N workflow JSON, JSON based on your research. So this is interesting that I had to tell it again. But eventually, it did go ahead and produce, look at the N8N N workflow JSON that it produced so detailed. We're going to actually go ahead and copy this and paste it into N8N and then see what that search result actually looks like, what this JSON looks like in N8N. But before we do that, if you could look at this section here, I reached the limit for using Cloud Opus 4. I'm on the Cloud Pro plan, which is standard roughly about 20 bucks a month. If you want to use Cloud Opus 4, Fairly extensively, it's slightly more expensive. It's about a hundred bucks a month, but I reached my limit very quickly. So this is something that you should keep in mind if you were to play around with Opus 4. But yes, now let's go ahead and copy this JSON into N8N and see what that looks like. So when I tried to copy and paste this N8N workflow in my N8N canvas, it threw an error. Basically, what I believe is that it added some placeholder IDs and that did not work. So I had to prompt Claude Opus 4 again. This is what I said. The JSON that you provided did not work. Please fix this error. That's all I had to say. And it regenerated this entire workflow JSON and fixed the error. So let's look at how comprehensive this is. It just keeps on going. And it told me what it fixed. And it also said to use this workflow, do these things. So I thought that was really cool. So let's go ahead and paste it in N8N and see what that looks like. And as you can see, this is very cool. It has done pretty much everything. It takes, it took our exact request and it did it to the T. It took the request from the webhook and it says all the things that you need to do. Very, very interesting. You might need to rearrange some of the notes, but I thought this is very, very comprehensive. If you bring it out here, output parser, open chat AI model, and it has sticky notes that is very detailed. Very, very impressed with the overall result. One thing to keep in mind is you're going to have to obviously go in there and configure each node. You're gonna to have to put in your credentials. You're gonna to have to hook up with the proper workflows with your credentials. And another thing to keep in mind that this is not 100% foolproof. It gets you 80 to 90% there, and then you have to do the rest 20 to 10% and fill in the gaps as needed. But it really gives you a very solid starting point and it gets you going very, very quickly rather than you have to start from scratch. And that saves you a lot of time and energy and it gives you a very solid head start. All you're doing now at this point is configuring some of these nodes and making sure that the flow works. And you're really just testing and making sure that everything connects properly rather than you have to start all the way from scratch and try to figure things out all the way from the, from the beginning. So this is what this entire process and this entire workflow gives you. And I believe Opus 4 is really good at giving you a very, very good head start because it does the job very, very well for you. It researches the community forms and, and it researches best practices on the internet and gives you a very clean solution from the get-go. So this is where I believe Opus 4 shines. Yeah, so if you could look at this entire workflow, Google Sheets, to send an email and to create a calendar event. I think this is very, very comprehensive. Overall, I am fairly impressed with what Opus 4 has given us. So that's it, folks. I hope you got value out of this video. As I mentioned previously, I have created another video where I walk through in depth on how to set up your cloud projects and set everything up so that you don't have to start your N8 in workflow from scratch. You could even copy and paste the N8 in workflows that other YouTube creators talk about and you could get a head start in your NAN journey. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.